bunch of stuff from Sephora and I'm gonna show you what I thought, okay? Um, I asked for it gift wrapped because I'm sad. But the box is beautiful. <laughs> Easily impressed. And it's a magnet clothes. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'll show you what I brought. Um, let's open it on up and have a look. Um, they sent me three free samples of my order. I got a Giorgio Armani Sea Perfume. Interested to see how that smells. Is a Givenchy perfume, Lantadi, or however you say it. And then finally, we've got a Belief True Cream Aqua Balm Moisturising Stuff. So, good start. And then we've got what I ordered. And this was in the box, and I was like, what is that? And then I realised the ball dropped. Um, so it came with a brush and it comes with like this weird like helmet brush guard on. You like unclip it, you've got a peeled sticker off the top and there's the brush. It's like so soft. It's the Flora Pro Bronzer brush. It feels amazing. So excited to use it. There we go. That came this. This is the Sun Disc Limited Edition. I really wanted a Sun Disc. I really wanted one that was 30 grams because I'm greedy. And this is Limited Edition, so next year they will probably release a different one. So I thought I could start collecting them, possibly. This would be my first. It comes with a mirror in. Boom. And the pan is massive, it's 30 grams. It's absolutely humongous. And the colour. It's just like a muted brownish pink. It's really quite pretty. I think there's a bit of a shimmer in there, but not like, whoa, a pretty glow. Holiday glow shimmer. Next, I purchased a peach frost highlighter in Happy Face. I saw mixed reviews with this. Um, People say it's very natural looking. Some people say it's not worth it. Um, and some people are disappointed. Like if you want a blinding glow highlighter, this is not for you um, as it's quite subtle. But I just, I loved how natural it looked. But I think it's so pretty. Like it's such a pretty, just natural glow. I don't know won't really be able to see it and it smells it smells nice too okay next I got the peach perfect mattifying loose powder and um, I completely ran out of powder and um, so I'm literally scraping the bottom of my my tub but I finally got the replacement powder that I can use it comes with like a cap which is really handy if you want to travel with it smells that peach like not really not like really really peachy just subtly peach people say it tastes like sugar hmm. I don't know if it's me but I haven't really tasted anything I'll have to try eating it another day but yeah I've been meaning to get this ages um, people say it's really amazing it gives a really pretty net, like matte finish so hopefully that will help my skin and help me last next I got the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in Meringue I am happy with my colour choice I feel that from the look of the formula it looks like my colour. It comes with a metal cap which is meant to be cooling for the eye and I'm quite excited to use it. It's just like like a pale pink sort of colour but the 
coverage seems amazing and that's just on my hand. Um, it doesn't feel drying, it doesn't feel like it crack when it cracks. Like it's completely covered the colour of my hands. So that should be interesting to see if it can really get rid of my dark circles. But we'll see. Um, next was the Sephora Total Age Defy Cream. Because when I was at college, it said that your skin starts deteriorating at like 25, I think. So I would rather prevent that. Um, so I thought I would get an anti-aging cream to help the collagen in my skin to try and maintain its elasticity. Um, so I thought I could use this as like a night cream before bed. I've got a day cream already. Um, it's Astro Love Day Wear, which is really good. It's like a moisturiser, but it's mattifying, so you don't get greasy. I tend to use it as a primer under my makeup because it really helps to stick the makeup. Mm -hmm. If I use a mattifier as well, it kind of, ugh, it kind of is too matte and it gets a bit cakey. So this I'm going to use for night Total Age Defy Cream. It smells really nice. It smells clean and like, <sighs> like really gentle. Like, oh, it smells so good. And finally, I got an eyeliner pencil, Marc Jacobs Beauty, and I got it in Out of the Blue, which is beautiful. And I can't get it out of the box. So it's this colour, it's like a cobalt blue, it looks gorgeous and I can't wait to use it, like, oh, like look at the colour, it's like 22.95 euros, I thought it wasn't that shabby since it seems the same as Urban Decay, so I will have to see. So yeah, that's everything I brought. I'm so excited to use everything. So these are some of those products that I'll be using in my upcoming videos. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.